In today's episode, we're going to be talking about Chinese herbs for blood stasis. In Chinese medicine, blood stasis plays a really large role in many pathologies, and this is because it can result from so many different causes. Physical trauma, prolonged periods of inactivity, internal organs functioning inefficiently, and most commonly, as we age, the blood circulation naturally slows down. So after a prolonged period of time of this pattern not being addressed, the situation can lead to what we call old blood stasis, which is just a deeper, more difficult type of blood stasis to treat. Some examples of this include migraine headache, heart disease, stroke, post-concussion, liver cirrhosis, infertility, severe menstrual disorders, ulcerative colitis, and urinary stones, all of which do not respond to the normal course of normal herbal treatment. So the treatment protocol here is gonna to be to strongly move the blood and chi, dispel stasis, and unblock the meridians. Because many of these issues are serious, the very first course of action is to see your MD and get the situation under control. Once you've done that, Chinese herbs can be really helpful in resolving this pattern. But please remember that whenever you're dealing with a really long-standing, very chronic issue like this, it takes a little bit longer to resolve. So if you're looking for a more modern day formula to address the patterns of old blood, you wanna look for one containing at least one if not more of the following herbs. First, we have Taurem, which moves the blood and breaks up stagnation as well as alleviates pain. Next, we have Dong Wei, which helps to both nourish and activate blood circulation as well as eliminate blood stasis. And lastly, we have Mo Yao, which is used to unblock the channels and collaterals as well as relieve pain. For related lifestyle and dietary recommendations, please also check out our Chinese medicinal food video for blood stasis. As always, I would love to hear your personal experiences, so please consider leaving your stories and comments below. 